Oh, how lucky you are. You have no idea just how lucky you are today. Because today I'm going to go ahead and do two, that's right, two casting pods. Both reading from Steve Martin's Pure Drivel. Why? Because I think it's important to get this kind of intellectual insight out into the multimedia right now. You know, a lot of us are dealing with getting older. And as we get older, we sometimes lose our the thing with the where we memory we lose memory and that's okay because sometimes there are things we want to forget so it, it's important to understand about getting older and losing your memory are we recording if we start okay oh we're, we are Hi. So today you were in a... We already did that. Okay. So, without further ado, Steve Martin, Pure Drivel, Changes in the Memory After 50. Bored? Here's a way the over 50 can easily kill off a good half hour. One, place your car keys in your right hand. Two, with your left hand, call a friend and confirm a lunch or dinner date. Three, hang up the phone. Four, now look for your car keys. For the answer, turn to page 21 and turn book upside down. The car keys are in your right hand. Please remember to turn the book right side up. The lapses in memory that occur after 50 are normal and in some ways beneficial. There are certain things it's better to forget, like the time Daddy once failed to praise you and now, 40 years later, you have to count the tiles in the bathroom, first in multiples of three, then in multiples of five, and so on, until they come out even, or else you can't get out of the shower. The memory is selective, and sometimes it will select 1956 and 1963, and that's all. Such memory lapses don't necessarily indicate a more serious health problem. The rule is, if you think you have a pathological memory problem, you probably don't. In fact, the most serious indicator is when you're convinced that you're fine, and yet people sometimes ask you, why are you here in your pajamas at the Kennedy Center Honors? Let's say you just called your best friend Joe, and you've invited him to an upcoming birthday party, and then, minutes later, you call him back and you invite him to the same party again. This does not mean that you are losing it, or not playing with a full deck, or not all there, or that you're eating with the dirigibles, or shellacking the waxed egg, or looking inside your own mind and finding nothing there or in any of the other demeaning epithets that are said about people who are peeling an empty banana. It does, however, mean that perhaps Joe is no longer on the list of things you're going to remember. This is Joe's fault. He should have been more memorable and had a more memorable name, such as El Elegante. Sometimes it's fun to sit in your garden and try to remember your dog's name. Here's how. Simply watch the ears while calling out your pet names at random. This is a great summer activity, especially in combination with Name That Wife and Who Am I. These games actually strengthen the memory and make it simpler to solve such complicated problems as Is this the sixth time I've urinated this hour? Or the seventh? This, of course, is easily answered by the tiny pencil marks applied during the day. Note to self, write article about waxy buildup. If you have a doctor who is over 50, it's wise to pay attention to his changing memory profile. There is nothing more disconcerting than patient and healer staring at each other across an examining table, wondering why they're there. Watch out for the stethoscope being placed on the forehead or the briefcase. Watch out for greetings such as, Hello, you... Be concerned if while looking for your file, he keeps referring to you as one bad boy. Men should be wary if, while examining your prostate, the doctor suddenly says, I'm sorry, but do I know you? There are several theories that explain memory problems of advancing age. 
One is that the brain is full. It simply has too much data to compute. Easy to understand if you realize that the name of your third grade teacher is still occupying space, not to mention the lyrics to Volare. One solution for older men is to, t is to take all the superfluous data swirling around in the brain and download it into the newly large stomach, where there is plenty of room. This frees the brain to house relevant information, like the particularly troublesome days of the week. Another solution is to take regular dosage of ginkgo biloba, an extract from a tree in Asia whose memory is so indelible that one day it will hunt down and kill all the humans that have been eating it. It is strongly advised that if taking ginkgo biloba, one should label the bottle memory pills. There is nothing more embarrassing than looking for a bottle of ginkgo biloba and thinking it's a reliquary for a Spanish explorer. So in summary, waxy buildup is a problem facing all of us. Only a good strong cleanser used once or twice a month will save us the humiliation of that petrified yellow crust on our furniture. Again, I recommend an alcohol-free polymer-based cleanser applied with a damp cloth. Good luck.